Hi everyone, it's Mr. T-Rex, and this week we are going to make some Dino Platosaurs. Here we go. The materials you will need are some paper plates, paper, a cereal box, scissors, drawing utensil, and glue. Before we get started making our dinosaurs, we need to prepare our paper plate. First, we need to fold it and then cut it in half. Step one, for any dinosaur, we need to make the body first. So we're going to trace the half circle onto cardboard. And if you don't have cardboard, you can really use any material as long as it's flat. As long as you are just tracing the half circle to make the body for any dinosaur that we make today. Okay, on step two, we're gonna cut out the half circle for our dinosaur's body and make sure that you are saving all of your scraps because you never know what we can make out of those leftovers. Having saved all those scraps on step three, we're now gonna use them to create our body parts. Using this long skinny rectangle, I am now making some legs for my dinosaur and really you can create any body part out of anything you have left over. And as you can see, as I'm moving around the body parts, I'm slowly planning out what kind of dinosaur I'm making. For this first dinosaur, we are gonna be making a Diplodocus, which means double beam dinosaur. And that refers to its bone structure in which all of the bones in its neck are super thick. The Diplodocus is part of the sauropods, which references its long neck. So there are multiple long neck dinosaurs, and as you can see, we're cutting out, and we're gonna make our first dinosaur a long neck Diplodocus. For step four, we need to add some details or you can start decorating your dinosaur. And as you can see, I'm using my extra piece of white paper to cut out its eye. But really, this is where you can start making your own details and decorating your dinosaur. And finally, for step five, you can either glue it or tape it or just take a picture of it however you please. And then you need to ask yourself, are you finished? If you're not finished and you want to keep going, here's another way to make a dinosaur using our half circle. As you can see, on step one, I'm using the half circle to trace and place my dino parts. And this time we're going to make something different. Having used the half circle to map out my dinosaur, now I'm going to add some dino parts that I need to draw and then cut out. And if you have guessed already, for this dinosaur, we are making a pteranodon, which means winged, toothless dinosaur. And as you can see, while I'm placing the body parts around the half circle, the half circle will be the body or the wings of the pteranodon. And it is part of the pterosaur family, which means winged lizard. So you can imagine them flying around during the Jurassic Age. And finally, for step three, we need to add details or decorate our dinosaur. And as you can see, I'm using my extra white paper to add its eyes. And remember, you can always glue it or tape it or take a picture of it and ask yourself, are you finished? If you want to keep making more dinosaurs, now I'm going to show you how to use our paper plate to draw some dinosaurs. First, you need to prepare your paper plate by tracing and cutting out the smaller half circle on your paper plate. We are gonna use this half circle as our template in order to draw the outlines of our dinosaurs from now on. Okay. 
for step one, we need to position the paper plate in a manner in which we can start drawing the outline of our dinosaur. We need to include all the details of the dinosaur, including tails, legs, its arms, and its head. And if you could tell from the details, we are drawing a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which means Tyrant Lizard King. And we gotta add some sharp teeth onto our Tyrannosaurus Rex, because it is a carnivore, part of the theropods, which means wild beast foot. And these are the types of dinosaurs that would walk around on two feet eating other dinosaurs. And lastly, we need to add details or decorate our Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you can add all sorts of features like stripes or spots. It's really your T-Rex. We got one more dinosaur to go. And as you can see, I'm repositioning my half circle to get started. Step one, we need to draw our outline of our dinosaur again. So follow along. Think about what kind of lines you are using. As you can see, I'm using a zigzag. And if you can guess, we are making a stegosaurus, which means roof lizard. And I think that's in reference to its back plates. They look kind of like roof shingles. And stegosauruses are a part of Thyreophora, which means shield bearers, which means they are an armored dinosaur. And finally, when you are done drawing the outline of your dinosaur, don't forget to add details or decorate it. And then you need to ask yourself, are you finished? With this project, the possibilities are endless. I hope you had fun. This is Mr. T-Rex, signing off.